Okay, we're going to now set up a Gym Assistant Access Door Controller version 3. This is our standalone controller, and this particular setup will be for a proximity reader and proximity cards. In your package, you should have the Access Door Controller itself, a USB RS45 adapter, the proximity reader and some proximity fobs. You may have proximity cards, also may be a different type of reader. Okay, let's open up the controller. So inside, a couple things to point out. You will find a short length of wire that's to connect the computer to the controller. You'll find a power supply. As well, we also include a small flathead screwdriver and some wire crimps to make wiring more simple. Just point out on the power supply, there's a short, uh, about 12 inch tail. These wires are gonna connect to the power supply. Point out on the board, we've got terminals on both sides. These are terminals for door one, terminals for door two, because the controller will control two entrances, two doors. There are also, uh, I wanna point out that there are two red varistors. Those are basically shock absorbers for the door relay to keep the relays from burning out. There also are four relays on the board. There's a relay for door one, door two, and these two relays are not used for our purposes, so you can ignore them. We've also got a small set of dip switches that you should not have to adjust, but we want you to know that they're there just in case we ask you to take a look. Okay, the first thing you're going to do is connect power to the controller. So when you run wires into the, to the controller box, make sure you run them through the holes in the box, otherwise you'll have to redo all your wiring before you can put the lid on. So the wiring terminals for the controller are the first two here. There's a, a ground and 12 volts DC. One thing to point out when you are putting wires into the terminals is that these terminals are a little backwards from what you would expect. Normally you expect that when you tighten a screw, uh, it is going to clamp down onto the wire. In this case, it's actually the opposite. When you tighten the screw, the clamp will come up to clamp the wire. So make sure you loosen the screw on your terminal a few turns before you put the wire in. When you tighten the wire, after you tighten the wire, always give that wire a little tug. Make sure it's firmly in there and it's not going to come out later. With these terminals, it's easy to have the wire under the clamp if you're not careful, and that's not going to help. Once you have the wires connected, plug in power, and you should see a single green LED that indicates that the board has power. Next, you will connect the controller to the RS45 adapter. One thing to point out is the cable that's going to go between the computer and the controller is only going to use three of the four wires. So you want to cut the red wire because that's not going to be used and that will prevent you from accidentally connecting it. Okay. In the uh, documentation that you receive with the controller, uh, it's going to show exactly how the wires are going to be connected to the terminal block. So it's going to be white, green, and then black. So we'll do that here. Next, we will connect the terminal strip to the RS45 adapter. Again, I want to point out that you want to check and make sure that the adapter actually says on it RS485 because it will look just like an RS232, which is a standard serial. Okay, we're going to connect that in. And once that's in, we recommend you tighten the screws. They don't have to be super tight, just tight enough to make sure that they don't come out. Okay, next we're going to connect the RS45 adapter to the controller. Okay, so we've got black, green, and white. Next, we're going to install drivers for the RS45 adapter on the computer. Okay, now we find the controller in Gatekeeper. In Gatekeeper, click Find Controller, and if all is connected, it should tell you what port it's connected to. Okay, once Gatekeeper is connected to the controller, you'll see the control LEDs blinking. Those are the communication LEDs blinking green and red, and you'll also see the green lights flickering on the USB RS485 adapter as well. So that tells us that Gatekeeper is now happily 
talking back and forth with the controller. Okay, now we're going to connect the HID proximity reader to the controller. I want you to note that there are 10 wires that come out of the pigtail for the proximity reader. We are only going to use four, so you can cut the rest of them short. We're only going to use the black and red, which is power, and the white and green, which are communication. So in this case, I'm not gonna run the wires uh, through the holes in the enclosure because this is for a test setup just on the desktop to make sure everything is working. We very much recommend that you do that so that you know everything is working and you're familiar with how the wiring should be done. We do recommend that you disconnect power from the controller while you're connecting wires. It is not critical, but it's a good idea. Now that we have the four reader wires connected to the reader on the desktop, we're gonna power up the controller and you should hear the reader beep a few times to indicate that it is successfully started up. Okay, now to test the reader, we're gonna scan a card and you should see this card number show up in Gatekeeper. Okay, there it is. And the last five digits of the card number show up in Gatekeeper and those correspond to the last five digits on the key fob itself. Okay, now to assign a card number to a member. In Gym Assistant, you'll bring up that member's record. Click the barcode button. Now we scan that member's card. The card number will show up in Gym Assistant. We click OK. Now if you want to test that card, we scan the card and you can see that it opens the relay and the relay closes automatically. So that covers the basic setup for the Gym Assistant Standalone Access Door Controller. If you have any questions, please contact Gym Assistant Support. Thank you.